So here we are proving that square root of 2 plus 1 is irrational. So if we are doing that, we are supposed to make an assumption that uh, square root of 2 plus 1 is rational. So um, we can say we assume that assume that uh, square root of 2 plus 1 is rational. So if we're going to make this assumption, we can use now the definition for rational number by saying that uh, we assume that square root of 2 plus 1 is rational, then square root of 2 plus 1 can be expressed can be expressed in the form in the form p over q where p and q where p where p and q are integers and q is not equal to, to zero using the definition of um, of course rational numbers now since we are expressing square root of 2 plus 1 in the form p over q it is the same as writing square root of 2 plus 1 is equal to p over, over q we make square root of 2 the subject so this is going to be square root of 2 is equal to p over q minus minus 1 the moment you get this expression, you can say that this is square root of 2 is equal to, you find the lowest common denominator. In this case, the lowest common denominator is, is q, since this is the same as over 1, so the lowest common denominator is q. Then you say q into q, that's uh, 1, then 1 times p, that is going to be p, and that is going to be minus 1 into q, that is q, q times 1, you get q. Now, when you look at this, ex, uh, this, this fraction, this side here, we're saying that uh, this p and q are supposed to be are supposed to be integers so since p and q since p and q are, are integers the expression the number that you'll be getting here is going to always be an integer what i mean is this for example let's say p is equal to 2 and q is equal to uh, and q is equal to let's say q is uh, is 1 so the number that you get here is going to be in the form p over p over q. So here we have p is 2, so we have 2 minus q is 1 over over 1, which is going to give us 1 over 1, which is which is 1. And this one here is rational. So we are seeing that this side every time you substitute any integers on p and q, we are getting a number which is a rational of course. So we get this, we can conclude that the side, this side here is rational. And this side here, using the fact that square root of 2 is irrational, we know that this side is irrational. Now, you should remember that a number will never be rational and at the same time irrational. A number will never be irrational and at the same time rational. So if that is the case, we are going to conclude by saying that since the side is irrational it says since therefore since the left hand side is irrational irrational and the right hand side the right hand side is Rational. Then, by contradiction, by contradiction, square root of two plus one is irrational. Why are we saying by contradiction? Because here we started with an assumption that this was rational. If it is rational, this was supposed to be true. When you have a rational number here, irrational number is supposed to have a rational number. So here this side it is rational, this is irrational. And it is not true that a number can be rational and at the same time um, irrational. A number can't be both rational and irrational.
it's supposed to be of course one one point two that's the way you're supposed to to prove that square root of two plus one is rational by just checking this side it is irrational the other side it is rational then you get it like that